so Lula, 83% popularity. I go back and I look at some of the stuff with this guy to see what he did. In the 80s when he's coming up, he's a lathe uh, 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 operator in a factory. Okay, it's what he was doing. Uh, but he was a uh, c- community organizer, right? Became the president of Meta Lurigis Union. Uh, this was at the time where they were holding many strikes, you know, for the workers. And he was kind of like a, uh, I don't want to say Jimmy Hoffa, but he was a union uh, name going out there. Hey, it's not fair. This is not enough money. We let's strike. Let's do this. So he kept uh, encouraging people to strike. But then in 1990, when uh, Fernando Color de Melo won, this, I think this was his first time losing or second time. He's lost a few times uh, for times, a bid for yeah. presidency. He started Sao Paulo Forum in Brazil, which was officially created by Fidel Castro and Luis Inacio uh, with, with him. So in a time like this, and the whole outcome was, hey, organization is going to bring people together from political parties and leftist organization from all over Latin America and the Caribbean where you're with a very clear and public plan of power with what they want to do. Anyways, so when they created this at the time in Brazil, how, was, how did Brazil view Fidel Castro at this time? Did the people see him as a hero? Did they see him as a, man, this guy cares about the poor people, and if Lula's going to be like that, or was there not momentum created yet for Lula? It, good point. Listen, uh, in Br- Brazil is very divided in terms of uh, the political view and all that. Fidel Castro is a hero for a lot of people, especially in the universities <laughs> so and, and the upper classes. They love like a, the, this narrative. Oh, a guy that uh, went against a dictator, uh, dictatorship uh, uh, and, and took power to help people and they love that so the education in Cuba uh, the, the the social uh, health in Cuba free health care uh, yeah freedom of care they, they love this narrative but uh, it, well it, nowadays I think they understand uh, uh, at least the majority they understand it sucks so uh, and and just for you to understand, during the uh, many years, there's one, there was only one guy that we both uh, know, and and he passed away a few years ago, and he was very important to the right movement, Olavo de Carvalho. There was only one guy in the media talking about this, the Foro de São Paulo, only him, and, and in the mainstream media, they they were treating it as a, a conspiracy theory. Like, no, that, that doesn't exist. <laughs> the, the left is not united to bring back to Latin America what they lost in, the, in, in Europe. So they, they thought it was a, a lie. But yeah, many people still think uh, Fidel Castro is a kind of hero. And, uh, but uh, with, with the social media, uh, now many, many people can understand better what's going on in Cuba and all that. So th- there was no, it's important for you guys to understand, there was no right wing movement in Brazil uh, back then. And, and we are talking about less than a decade ago. There was no right wing movement. There so, were only one guy there, one another guy there, and that's it. Is it, is it fair to say, like when I read about both of these guys, of politicians in the history of uh, Brazil, the two most strongest personalities who are loud, who are, you know, charismatic, it's these two, Bolsonaro and Lula. Is that a fair assessment? Where they're very good at selling their vision and casting their vision and speaking to their base. And historically, there's not been, even JK, who's known as your GOAT, you know, he's one of the greatest presidents you guys have had. You know, they, they view him as somebody, a lot of people tell me this based on what I'm reading, maybe you may correct me on that. You don't typically hear somebody that is you know they're more more poised the way they speak you know yeah. hey here's what we do this is what brazil's all about so was that one of the reasons why both of these guys got the kind of love that they got i guess so yeah uh, and, and they were both both populist but i have a different different flavors of mm. populism but to the sense that they appeal to the common man more than to the to the establishment but i have to say uh, i've never seen anyone like Bolsonaro in, in the sense of how much people like him. So with all the craziness taking place, I believe future looks bright. If you believe future looks bright, get your latest future looks bright hat of Valuetainment. It says future looks bright here, future looks bright here. We got them in white, we got them in black, we got them in red, our black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan, 
bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people weren't in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the Future Looks Bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying Future Looks Bright. To order your Future Looks Bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.